This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Yahoo Sports reports that 16 players are invited to the NBA draft this coming Thursday night. Scala Bissier and Jamal Murray will be the, some of the ones who will attend. Here's the full list of the players expected in the green room at the Barclays Center on Thursday night. Tyler Ulyss did not get an invite, but is expected to get drafted. Some have him going in the first round. Others have him projected getting taken in the second round. So Scal and Jamal will get to shake the commission's in. As many as three more players could get added to this list. By Sunday afternoon, league sources told Yahoo Sports. A well, former Lincoln Memorial Rail splitter Jalen Steele is getting his work in during the Rocky Top Basketball League. He has offers to play in the pros in France, Italy, Spain, and Bulgaria, but he's hanging on tight, talking with his agent. He will wait until August to leave. He still appreciates how fun the ride was to the Division II National Championship this past season at LMU. Oh man, it was very fun. Uh, everybody hold each other accountable. Uh, if you mess up on defense, they're going to they gonna call you out. So it was just, you really just push yourself, playing with great talent, and, and LMU is going to go far. That, that's a good program, and Coach Shirts really got it going up there. So I advise if anybody want to go anywhere, if you can't make a D1, go D2, LMU is the place to go. Well, on June 1st, Kentucky baseball coach Gary Henderson resigned. Last week, Kentucky found its new baseball coach and hired Nick Minjone, an assistant from Mississippi State. Now Henderson is headed to Starkville. Mississippi State head coach John Cohn will bring Henderson down to be the pitching coach of the Bulldogs, the same position he had under Cohn at Kentucky, where the Wildcats won the SEC championship in 2006. Oklahoma State and UC Santa Barbara. They got things going at the College World Series in Omaha today. We'll pick it up uh, bottom of the fourth. There's no score. Garrett Binge, RBI single to center off Shane Bieber. No relation to Justin. Uh, Corey Hassel scores to make it one nothing. How about the unofficial mascot dinosaur named Eutropolis for Oklahoma State looking on? I'll tell you what, Eutropolis had to like what he saw from starting pitcher Thomas Hatch. He goes the distance, throws a complete game shutout. Striking out Austin Bush to end the game. First World Series win since 1993 for Oklahoma State. It's double elimination, so UC Santa Barbara uh, not eliminated just yet. Cody Reed making his Major League debut for Cincinnati. The Reds in Houston taking on the Astros. Bottom first, no score. Marwin Gonzalez says, welcome to the bigs, Mr. Lee Reed. Just launches it to left. A two-run homer for Gonzalez. We go bottom of the fifth now. Reed facing Gonzalez again. This time Reed says, uh, sorry, bro, take a seat. Strikes him out swinging in the inning. Bottom of the ninth now. We're tied at four. Runners on the corner. George Springer looked like a game winner, but Jay Bruce, great catch there. So we go extra innings. Bottom of the 11th. Springer got another crack at it, and he gets it to go through. Jason Castro, he beats the throw to home and scores, and the Astros win 5-4 to four over the Reds in 11 innings. So the state baseball tournament concluded tonight in Lexington. St. X wins in its seventh state baseball championship, one to nothing over Campbell County. Connor Holden, he tossed a complete game, three-hit shutout. Adam Elliott was named tournament MVP. Now to football. Former Kentucky Wildcat Randall Cobb holding a football camp for the kids this weekend in Wisconsin. The camper is getting instruction on, of course, football and life advice. Now, usually Cobb doesn't get the chance to do a camp in the Chiefs State, but he was able to do it this time because he was one of the 15 players named to the veterans list by his head coach, Mike McCarthy, and he was excused from this week's Packers mandatory minicamp. I just love being out here with the kids. It makes me feel like a kid again, can just come out and have fun and enjoy ourselves. And that's the biggest thing for the kids. You know, at this age, it's not about, you know, trying to figure out who's going to be the next top athlete. It's all about just enjoying yourself and having fun and being with your friends. And, you know, that's what we talk about. We talk about teamwork and uh, being cooperative with your team, teammates and coaches and, and, and being coachable and learning. And, and that's the biggest thing for us is just teaching those, instilling those, uh, you know, those little things. Let's go to Oakmont. U.S. Open, they finished up round two today. This is round three later on in the day. After six straight pars to open his round, Andrew Landry curls in the nice birdie putt there at the seventh, moves him to four under. Now we're with Jason Day. He birdied four of his first five holes in the round, and here at number four, his 13th hole of the day, uh, he rolls in the eagle, finished the day at one over. How about Shane Lowry at the ninth? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. He goes to four under with that. 
a little later, it's Lowry again at the 12th. His second to the par four, and Lowry just showing off his great touch here. Stops the ball just a couple feet away from the hole to set up the tap-in bird. Play is suspended for darkness, of course. They'll pick it up tomorrow morning and then begin the final round. This is what the leaderboard looks like. Lowry at five under through 14 holes. Landry at three under through 13 holes. And then Lee Westwood, Sergio Garcia, and Dustin Johnson all at two under. That's sports. We'll be back.